Hey guys, it's uh, Jeff Wade here. Just got home from work, um, but finished a book on the subway and wanted to tell you about it really quickly. Uh, so in front of me I have the Robert Collier Letter Book. Uh, this is a classic marketing text, originally published in 1937, I believe. Um, again, strongly recommend. It took Amazon about three months uh, to get me this book after uh, I ordered it. Um, and it was worth the wait. I just want you to know. Uh, so why was it worth it? Well, if you're interested in marketing, copywriting, growing your business, uh, this classic text just goes to show that things don't change that much. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to quickly run through the table of contents for you, um, just parts of it. There's 442 pages uh, in this hardcover edition, um, and it has a lot of chapters that just cut to the chase, you know? Chapter one, what is it that makes some letters pay? Um, so this is about business letters, uh, writing letters to solicit new business. Um, you know, that might be uh, today, it might appear in a blog or a prolonged Google Plus status update or a press release, or it could be an outbound email, a landing page. Um, there's really no limits. Um, you know, this is just fundamentally sound marketing communications, how to grow your business in writing. Um, you know, and had I wrote this pitch out, it could have been presented via video, but I'm just freestyling it, if you couldn't tell. So, you know, just going to give you a quick rundown of the chapters here. Um, you know, how to arouse that acquisitive feeling. Chapter three, getting news, interest into your letters. Four, word pictures that make people want your product. Five, motiv motives that make people buy. Six, the proof of the pudding. So, you know, chapter one to six already is just a really great look at, um, you know, the fundamentals of what's required to write a great letter and then to get someone to buy as well. Um, you know, what next one is supplying the impulse, you know, getting someone to really take action. Um, and then it jumps into, you know, some really great case studies that Robert Collier himself used. Uh, so, you know, chapter 12 is selling $2 million worth of O. Henry stories. Remember, this was published in 1937, so $2 million wasn't uh, what it is today, that's for sure. Um, a war history that sold, books that many people know, how Wells' outline was sold, how the book buyer saved a campaign, um, the third 50,000, so that was they sold uh, 50,000 of a, another thing. You know, there's everything in here from selling books uh, to how to sell bags, to how to sell umbrellas, to how to sell overcoats, um, to how to sell tires, to how to sell business products. Um, there's a, an in-depth chapter um, on how to uh, raise money. Uh, so uh, this, this chapter here, you know, talks about um, a pitch uh, for a theater uh, where they need to raise millions of dollars to get the theater uh, up and operating. Um, it shows you how to raise money for charity, um, you know, really shows, oh, this chapter, um, how to reach the leaders, um, so, you know, that's how to get by the, the stake, the gate holder, the receptionist um, that's holding you back. You know, there's also pictures, uh, you know, you can see, um, so there's really good examples of letters that actually worked and pulled, um, you know, and again, it really covers everything, uh, how to how to apply um, direct mail experience to start a store. Um, you can see there. So there's just a ton of information that's so valuable for anyone interested um, in marketing or uh, business communications. You know, this is really a, a classic you must read. Uh, you know, beyond that, just the last uh, chapters are 25, the ideal sales letter, um, and 26 is how to raise money by mail. So you know, everything in here from one to what is it that makes some letters pay, you know, the analysis uh, to what you need to do it to examples of how it's been done to, again, you know, the logistical operations of how to reach uh, the letters, how to apply these in a retail environment, how to, uh, you know, raise money for charity or for a cause or for an investment opportunity. Um, you know, it's all in the writing. So this isn't a flashy book, hardcover. Just a big blue paperweight, weight of paper, um, but definitely worth a read. Uh, I went through it with a pen 
um, and pencil actually underlining it. Um, you know, and there's just example, one letter after another, um, of words that are put together in a way that make people want to buy. Uh, so for that reason, you know, if you have any interest in trying to grow your business at all, um, this this book, the Robert Collier Letter Book, Robert Collier Letter Book, um, is absolutely worth reading. And while you're at it, um, you know, check out the Wikipedia article about Robert Collier. Just type it in now. Um, and you'll see that he was a really driven guy, obsessed with success, uh, excess, obsessed with fulfillment in life, um, and for his fulfillment in business and his success in business, uh, copywriting um, and writing business letters that pulled and studying why they pulled and what worked um, was the key to his success. So just wanted to get that out there. I just freestyled it because I'm so excited. Um, but I'm fully recommending the Robert Collier letter book underneath this video. Um, I'll put a link to some more in-depth text reviews that I did while reading the book. Um, you'll definitely find those interesting. Um, but until then, check this book out. You'll have order it now because it's going to take about two or three months for Amazon to find it, but it's worth waiting. So read the Robert Collier letter book.